Today we're venturing into the world of fake enamel signs on eBay. So here we go and venturing into the world of eBay fakes. Um, Redhead Gasoline in Canada was a station um, that wasn't uh, really heavily prolific but uh, their advertising is quite sought after. Now, a redhead sign is fairly rare. At one time, if you looked on eBay for a redhead gasoline sign, you'd not find one. Uh, if there was one a year pop up, you were lucky to see it, um, or maybe two or three a year tops. Um, tins are just uh, scarce, but for example, if you look on uh, look here now. Uh, I've typed in redhead gasoline sign and it's 29 results with every last one of them being fake. These Woody Woodpecker ones is, are especially fake. Um, decorator garbage uh, from India as you can see here. Um, not authorized. Um, so uh, the copyright holders of Redhead and Woody Woodpecker, neither one of them is are getting their uh, the monies due to them for use of that uh, trademarked uh, trademarked um, uh, company name and uh, image. Here's some others, again fakes. Uh, some of them are advertised as reproductions or whatever, but uh, some of them are just outright trash. Um, you'll notice this one has strictly has just redhead and I assume they'll replace that with whatever uh, company name you want <laughs> and it's also in uh, modern font as well but um, a lot of them you know like this one saying it's vintage well no it's not uh, again here um, this one's out of the U.S. as well, so they've imported them. And again, that's a copy of a uh, an original, but a bad one. This one's at least selling as brand new. But a lot of this stuff is is unauthorized, and you know they are selling some of the stuff as brand new but a lot of it's being sold as as vintage especially the stuff from India where there was never redhead stations or anything like that they're just being cranked out by sign companies there um, another one that's being heavily uh, or the uh, heavily reproduced and fakes outright fakes and fantasy items being made is uh, Red Indian um, McCall Frontenac Oil Company. Again, uh, another uh, another Canadian company. And, uh, of course, they're being made in India. There's a lot of them coming out of the U.S. as well, which are importations probably from India. Uh, like these little guys. You'll see this, this one sitting in the palm of somebody's hand. Um, this is another smaller one and they're being sold vintage 1930s red indian it's garbage it's brand new um here's another one that's a absolute junk vintage dated 1933 mccall frontenac yeah right outright trash again it's uh fake as with pretty much every Red Indian sign here, at least we got an original tin. Um, this one's suspect as well. At $102, this is a very valuable sign. If it were old, it's not. Again, being sold as vintage. And you'll see a lot of these being sold in the U.S. Uh, there were some that made their way down to the States, but uh, yeah, if there is as many stations as there is signs down there now, um, there would have been tons of stations up here, but their Red Indian stations 
weren't that prolific either. Uh, there's a what appears to be an original. I'd have to look closer at that one to determine that or not. Again, uh, what they call a keyhole sign, selling it for fifty-four dollars. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a fake. Uh, fake again, vintage. I just I hate when they use these vintage. Vintage. It's they use this the term vintage way too often. Um, you know, this is these are taking money out of the pockets of new collectors who don't realize what they're buying, and uh, there's tons of tons of this garbage being made in in India and elsewhere. So, as you can see, there's more and more and more and more of it. To see a red, real red Indian piece pop up, it was rare. And uh, now, they're all over the place because it's all new trash. There's another one. This one's really bad. Uh, and it's tainted the well, so to speak. So any piece you get is almost suspect because if you don't know where it's come from, how can you really tell at times? So, yeah. Very sad state of affairs. Hey, 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 hey. So we're going to venture into an individual's uh, vintage signs. Theoretically vintage but they're not. Here's this one. This individual uh, we'll take a look at his other stuff. Good example of all the reproduction and fake signs that are being sold as old. Now none of these are old. And you can see there's a lot of them. Perhaps there might be a vintage one mixed in somewhere but so far from what I can see these are all reproductions and fantasies this one never existed for example and this one has the wrong font and this one's a outright bad fake but anyway they're being sold as vintage vintage 1950s vintage 1930s vintage 1950s vintage 1962 Esso Taco Bell. Yeah, right. None of it's old. As you can see, they're all fakes. And they get away with it. eBay does nothing to combat this. Nothing. So it's muddied the waters. It throws doubt on any vintage sign that you buy off of eBay. Anybody who's starting to collect, I recommend not buying off of eBay at all. It's simply not worth the risk of you buying something that's fake. Now, he's far from the only one. This fellow's out of the US of A, apparently. There's lots out of India, so I recommend buying nothing out of India. There's maybe, I don't know, two East Indian dealers on eBay that sell legitimate items. The rest seem to be selling fraudulent merchandise. It's really pathetic and eBay does nothing. There's massive amounts of fraud going on on eBay these days. Just this one seller, he has 241 listings running. He has a Red Star rating has 1,561 uh, positive feedbacks. How? They're, he's selling fake merchandise. A plus seller, A plus seller. And he's, it's all fake merchandise. He's selling it as vintage. Do these people not realize? Or do they not care? Surely a lot of them care. 
And, oh, well, here's one. Vintage-like, not vintage at all. Very disappointed with description. Well, guess what? All his items are that way. And like I said, he's not the only one. So, let's try just the enamel sign in general and see what comes up. We have 9,444 results and I'm going to tell you right now 90% of them are new reproduction fakes and fantasy items. There's very few of these actually none so far that are old. So let's try to narrow it down. Let's go to original porcelain sign. Guess what? There's only 12 listed under original porcelain sign. Let's see how many of those are fake. Okay, we have a f we have some foreign ones. Oh, perhaps perhaps they're vintage. There's a few that are they're European, so I don't know. I can't uh, can't say for sure. So let's try vintage. Uh, let's just try vintage porcelain sign. Let's see how many people are using vintage. Okay, porcelain Harley Davidson sign, pre-owned. Uh, Forty-two dollars. It's a new production, brand new production. So far, all these are new. New garbage. New garbage. Mm, that one's questionable. Coming from India, who knows what it is now, whether it's a reproduction or not. And the fr frankly, at one time, there were some beautiful original signs coming from India. They've been enameling for a long time. And a lot of countries uh, had stuff done in India as well, back in the 50s, 40s, 30s. So there is some vintage stuff that has come out of India, but now it's uh, pretty much everything is suspect that comes out of India, it seems, sadly. And uh, from what I understand, even some of the dealers take great pride in ripping each other off and ripping off the public with fake merchandise, which is really sad. There was a um, picker from Winnipeg that uh, bought uh, several Staffordshire figures some years ago to the tune of $8,000 and found out too late after he had shipped them to uh, Britain for resale that they were fakes. And he went back to the dealer, and the dealer basically threatened his life, saying, did you know that we can have people killed here for $50? So there is criminal gang ties in with some of this material, you know it. You know there's money being made that's going into criminal hands. Don't support this. Don't support buying East Indian stuff, even if you just think it's nice for de decor purposes or whatever. Don't buy it. None of it's authorized. It's not worth anything. Hey, 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 hey. Here's yet another seller who is uh, selling reproduction stuff. And he's even got a story behind his... Now, it's reproduction or fake, basically. Uh, he has a whole ton of these pot scrapers, quotes, air quotes. <laughs> um, and this is his spiel. He has tons of signs. Um, his spiel is this. Please note that you're purchasing a used item. It is possible you will see signs of light rust or money chipping off of the porcelain 
around the edges. If there is any greater damage, it will be clearly shown in the photos for you. All signs are sold in as is condition. Please use all 12 or use all of our 12 photographs as your best description of this item. Now here's the spiel. My father, uncles, and grandfather have spent over 70 years collectively collecting signs from all over the United States. They have finally agreed to allow me to sell a portion of their collection. The majority of signs are from advertising Biotin estate sales. These signs have previously been hung inside garages and in warehouses mostly. Some have been hung outdoors and are in less mint condition. Please be sure to check out the other signs I have posted. I will be posting more as they allow me to. Holy crap. What a pile of BS. Let's take a look at this guy's stuff. Let's see other items. Pot scrapers galore. And oddly enough, they're all the same shape. And here we go with the reproductions. There's a reproduction Coke sign, reproduction Clark sign, reproduction Wolverine sign, more pot scrapers, reproduction Cat's Paw sign, public telephone, just all reproductions. Of course, what seller who's selling original antique signs starts every item at $189.95? Not likely. It's more, more. More, more. 139, 129. Now, most of these are worth nothing. I'd say all of them are worth nothing, being fakes and outright fantasy pieces or stuff you can buy in Hobby Lobby or stores like that. They're all fakes. Fakes, repros, whichever you want to call them. Uh, it's probably a mixture here. Some will be outright fakes, I suspect. So, anyway, and he has over 10 pages. Let's see how many pages. Quite the collection. Um, he has, oh, he even has a red Indian sign. Oh, un really? Yeah, unlikely. That's as fake as fake can be. Anyway, um, he has yeah ten pages of them, fifty a page. That's five hundred items or more of all fake garbage. What a load of crock! Crock of crap. Anyway, so there's another guy who has tons of fakes, and this again, this is far from a minority of people. There is tons of people selling garbage like this on eBay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, why don't we go to one of the sources. Now, India is one of the main places they're coming out of. China is another. The Philippines is another. Indonesia is another. Brazil is another. They're coming from all over the world. Um, wherever there's a, a porcelain sign manufacturing company who doesn't really care about copyright, uh, there will be fake signs. So here's one. Here's India. Uh, this is showing a uh, red Indian porcelain sign, which is a Canadian sign. Never was in in uh, India. Uh, and they're selling it under original 1930 to 69. Now, again, pure garbage. And what we have, we may have some legitimate Indian signs. Uh, this one probably is, probably is real, probably is real. Probably made in India by a, a Indian sign company. It could be modern, might not be, who knows. Um, I saw sand soap company here. Could be real, might be, but everything's in doubt. Uh, here's another very fake one here. Uh, the watch one who knows could be real um probably fake more than likely a lot of the english stuff now um is suspect uh the hindi stuff uh could well be real but just um or tamil i guess it is up here 
So there could, like I said, there is some real stuff coming out of India, but it is not the stuff you think it is. It is not the English stuff. Most of the English stuff is copies of uh, good signs out of the U.S. or Canada or the U.K. But there is a lot of stuff coming out of India. But again, most of it is going to be suspect now. Um, I'd be very careful buying anything out of India. Um, very, very careful. Um, anybody advertising um, American, Canadian, or other, or European stuff that's selling out of India, odds are, just by odds, probably fake. Um, again, uh, let's, let's do a search for Red Indian. That's my favorite one to compare to. And, uh, we'll see how many Indian, or India, sorry, India-based sellers there are. Oh, geez, there's, um, let's see. Here's a Navajo trucking Indian sign. That's something a little different at least, but uh, you want to bet it's pretty much new. Uh, three bids, something that's selling right now. Let's look at the seller's other items. And here we go, into fakes, left, right, center, selling them as vintage. Vintage, vintage, vintage. And what they'll do is open up, uh, they get kicked off, they open up a different... Uh, seller their disposable accounts basically um, so if they do get kicked off they just start again and eBay can't seem to catch these people or don't really care I would think they don't care at this point because they make huge money off of uh, these East Indian sellers all this stuff is going to be pretty much fake yeah all fake Fake, fake, fake. And uh, here's a Canadian palm press, for example. They're fake. There's several, there's lots of them coming out of India now. So anyway, there's a guy who's selling all fake stuff. India, again. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, so far, this is all fake re East, or fake uh, Red Indian stuff as well. Uh, here's one coming out of India, and this here's a great example. Um, identical signs, one's coming out of India, one's coming out of the U.S. The one out of the U.S. is imported from India. Uh, not quite identical. I see they've got a slightly different uh, font here. But uh, no, <laughs> they're both the same size, 30-inch, uh, dated 33, which is which is even more suspect. It very rarely is a sign dated. Um, fake, fake, fake. All of them fake. Anyway, let's look at this East Indian guy's stuff, which is the ones we're concentrating on right now. And uh, see other items. Sign makers, 1947. Yeah, well, they're all new. Um, okay, let's see if he's selling it as vintage or what he's doing here. Uh, signs original, 1930 to 1969. Okay, so he's... Fraud is what we're looking at. More fraud. Fraud, 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 fraud. All fakes. All fakes. Every last one of these is a fake. What a waste of porcelain. Garbage, garbage, garbage. All unauthorized. All fake. Anyway, so the East Indian stuff, um, odds are if you're looking for an American sign or a Canadian sign, don't buy it from an Indian seller. You're 99.9% .9 chance of getting a fake. Uh, even from a U.S. seller, there's so many U.S. sellers. There's some Canadian sellers as well. I'm not saying Canadian sellers are perfect. I'm sure there's some one selling fake stuff as well. Um, importing it from India, China, Philippines, wherever. So there's lots of this fake garbage coming out. Now I'm going to search. The next one I'm going to search for is China. Let's see what China's doing. Now the website looks a little different in this particular case. 
Um, this is not eBay. This is Alibaba. This is the source for many of the fakes. You can see this video that's going on right now on this seller's site. Um, these are all fake. There's a Canadian Orange Crush. Um, and you can see there's all kinds. They will copy anything. Anything you give them, they'll copy and sell to you. Be happy to do that. So pretty much anything you can think of can come out of uh, some of these countries. So there's a right here below is a bad copy of a uh, Canadian match striker. This is a whoops. That policeman you saw was a uh, bad copy of a Coca-Cola sign. But this is where they're coming from. And you can see $3 a piece. So it's no wonder people are buying these and then selling them as, as old. There was an Orange Crush one, which is commonly seen. We'll back up a little bit. Um, so they're coming out of China is where they're coming out of. Uh, just right here, coming up, right there. Anyway, I know a bunch of those popped up and everybody thought they were real, and or a lot of people thought they were real. Uh, when I saw them, I thought, oh God, they're more junk. But anyway, they were never made here, but they have been sold as real, and real, sold by reputable dealers as real, because they were fooled, unfortunately. Anyway... Uh, very unfortunate, but a lot of it uh, is coming out. Um, but uh, here's another, here's a flange sign. So these are double-sided signs, is what a flange sign is. And uh, here they come up. You can get them for $10, $10 to $100 per piece, 20-piece minimum order. Um, pretty much anything you want made, they'll make. So some of the photos they they use are actually stolen from other websites. You'll see a watermark on this one, uh, Nautica Exclusive dot Nautica Exclusives dot com. So they've stolen the um, the photograph from some other website even. So uh, they don't really care about copyright. Oh, this one's out of India. This particular seller I see, Nautical Exclusives Hub India. So, okay, so they haven't stolen the photo. It's actually theirs, Nautical Exclusives India. But they're making fake garbage anyway. You can see the quality is not really there either, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess, for us. But they're getting better. And uh, a lot of this stuff is now starting to... Uh, it's causing problems in the collecting community being sold as real by people who should know better. Um, uh, here's this one's out of China here. And sorry, Alibaba is a little slower than eBay. Um, so, yeah, here's. They're even faking the uh, wear and stuff on them. Isn't that funny? Okay, let's get that video showing. I don't know. Do we have music? Would they get me for copyright if I let them have let them play the music? Okay. Oh, their video is just not working. Anyway, so they're even faking the. Uh, chipping and so they're chipping them up they're rusting them they're making them look old and so this this is being done purposely this is not like uh, uh, accidental damage and such they're actually faking everything oh there's a Canadian match striker up in the corner so here's the same seller of course this is uh, stacks of blanks so you can see their production is huge. We're not talking they're cranking out a half dozen signs. They're cranking out thousands of signs and thousands probably of the same particular sign. 
Um, some are improving, like I said, their quality is improving, uh, their accuracy is improving, they're watching Facebook posts, they're watching group posts to see what mistakes they need to correct. Um, they are getting better, unfortunately. Before it was pretty easy, uh, with a trained eye you could tell very quickly. Uh, now it really takes a trained eye and you need to be on the lookout and watching the other websites, the wholesale websites and such, to see what new stuff is coming out. Plus, people are sending, people from the US, people from Canada, people from Europe, are sending them photographs of vintage signs and getting them copied. So there will be fakes coming out before they're advertised as uh, available. So you've really got to watch. You've got to be careful. Um, know your seller. Be very careful. Um, there's just too much of this garbage out there. And it's all fraudulent. It's all illegal. Uh, here's their... It's coming out of their furnaces. Um, yeah, anyway. It's all garbage. Please don't buy this stuff. Uh, you're supporting potentially what you're su you're support you're buying something that's worthless to begin with, and you're buying something that could well see be supporting criminal activity. Um, it's fraudulent to begin with, anyway. In the minimum, uh, copyrights are being violated and such. That's the minimum, but there could well be uh, criminal activity behind uh, a lot of this laundering money. Who you know, well, they're making money. They're they're selling stuff for hundreds of dollars that are that's worth five, two dollar, not even, not even, not worth the metal they're printed on. They're scrap. Anyway, so thanks for listening to my rant. Um, take care, guys. Hopefully, you'll uh, be a little more wary in the future and uh, won't get burnt. Thanks for watching. Take care. Happy picking. Safe picking.